Hello, I'm making a quick video because my husband told me that he saw on the news that in those wildfire regions, Paul, where was that exactly? The wildfire? I don't remember. They're it was, all over. I don't they're, remember. They're all over right now. And um, there was one case where uh, the dog laid himself over a baby to protect the baby from being burned. The dog burned down, but the baby survived. Yeah, I just want people to let that sink in, you know. And um, so for anyone out there who, who says animals just are like robotic, instinctual existences or something you know that that uh, this this sentiment comes from the religious side okay this is not factual the truth the scientific truth is and this has been scientifically also verified over and over again and we see it in these types of stories and there are many of those stories out there that that animals are extremely, infinitely loyal beings, infinitely, unconditionally loving beings, angels, gods, yeah? So, um, good gods, um, they are, they're, they're here to love, they're here to teach love, they feel infinite love, a being who lays himself over another being to protect that other being, this he is practicing infinite love. This is what true love is. Okay? Paul Watson has done that. He laid himself over baby seals in Newfoundland to protect them from being clubbed by those, those fur sealer type of people out there by these barbaric first sealer type of people. They have a hacker pig. They, they have no problems chopping into a baby first seal and, and the mother looking, watching, and crying. The mothers are crying over seeing their babies being chopped. Okay. So I just want people to let that sink in and, and to really let that, and to really think about this to really ponder over this and not walk away from it, not ignore it. This is, this is what true love is, to, to lay yourself over someone else to prote protect him from being hurt. Okay? That, that is true love. Okay? And um, dogs and dolphins and whales and elephants, and there are many animals, who will do this, who are, who have that, that, um, that mother instinct, which is more than an instinct, which is true love. The mother instinct is true love. It's a genetic ability in the brain. Okay? I put it onto the same, onto the intelligence scale. So I personally put that into the intelligence scale. So there are, there are many different intelligence characteristics on the intelligence scale and true loving ability is part of that in my in my personal view, you know. It is not just an instinct, it's also it is also an ability. Okay? It is a maybe not um, necessarily cognitively like mathematically cognitively but it is it is a it is a form of cognition it's a form of it's a it's a form of understanding let's put it that way you know there's an there's an inherent understanding of right and wrong Okay, that is natural, and that is the ability to love and to make judgments over a situation like this and evaluate things in from the context of true love, you know, 
what will that what I'm saying right now do to someone else? What what are the effects of if I let my anger out? What will this do down the line? You know, it's this type of cognition. You know, so if we are very much in tune with this, we will not be letting our selfish needs and our entitlement feelings and our anger out on other people because we will recognize in that moment that it will have a negative effect on the world so and i want people to become more aware about this is i think this is extremely important to become more aware and um to recognize that there are animals who have equal and higher ability to feel and love and truly love, you know, unconditionally love and and loyalty and and wanting to help. You know. So the animals help that definitely for sure you know, at least the very the very high functioning ones like dogs wolves elephants whales dolphins you know bears very highly functioning existences they have that love ability in them okay you guys take care bye bye